Hey everyone, and welcome back to Travels in Tranquility. We are continuing our wonderful vacation at Universal Studios Orlando. Um, and this is day two of our trip. Yesterday, we did our VIP tour, which covered both parks. That will be linked in the description box below, or you can just go back like a couple of videos and find it. Um, but today, we, um, we started our morning by taking the boat to the theme parks. Um, it's really cool. So we're staying on property at the Lowe's Sapphire Falls, and it does include the like free transportation from like your hotel to the theme park. Um, and one of our options is the water taxi. And it is like a really nice way to start your morning. We were lucky enough that when we walked downstairs that morning, the boat was already there. Um, so we were able to kind of quickly walk in and then get on the boat. And honestly, after our VIP experience yesterday, we, where we walked like over 10 miles, it was nice to not start our day with, you know, a long walk to the theme parks. Um, and as you can see, it's beautiful views. You know, you're getting the breeze from being on the water and you're seeing all the water and seeing the theme parks. It's, it's just a nice way to start the day, in my opinion. So definitely worth checking out. Um, so they park the boat and you get off a little ramp. It does drop you off closer to the main park, to Universal Studios. Um, and you have to walk a little bit longer if you want to get to Islands of Adventure. We started our day at Universal Studios, Florida. Um, we got there. We were luckily like first in line at our park. Uh, what you're seeing right now is the first family of the day. They kind of stole this from <laughs> Disney Disney does that first family of the day, and now Universal uh, has started doing it. But we were in the park super quickly. We were able to rope drop the park. Um, so typically what happens in the times that we've been at Universal, they uh, let you in maybe about 15 minutes or so before the park opens, and then you go to the rope drop. Um, they you know rope off different sides of the theme park. Um, and so we had to wait about 15 more minutes. Sometimes they may be open in a little bit earlier. Probably depends on the day and the crowds. Um, so we started our day by trying to go on the new Minions ride, uh, which is called like Minion Blast, like Villain Con Minion Blast. And it's a very similar ride to like Toy Story um, and those other like shooter kind of games with like the screens and you use like the little guns and stuff like that, um, except you're standing this time. So you don't actually sit down in any sort of ride vehicle. I bet it helps them with like how many people they can get on the ride at once. Unfortunately, the ride was having a really tough time starting that morning and they did not get the ride up and running um, like that morning. So we stood in line for probably about like 20 minutes or so. Um, and it just like didn't come down oh, about 30 minutes, I guess my note said. It was really cool because we got to see like all the ride queue pieces and it's a really cute themed ride. Um, but it broke down and we weren't able to ride it. And it was kind of a bummer way to start our day. You know, like the first ride that you try to go on breaks down. That was kind of a bummy, a bummer, excuse me. So we ended up ditching that. We got out of the line without riding it. Uh, we were able to write it, I think, the next day. So it all worked out. Um, but we headed over and we rode um, Revenge of the Mummy, which I guess we didn't film at all. And then we head into Transformers. Transformers um, is a really cool ride. It's another, like, 3D experience kind of ride. They have this ride in Hollywood. Um, oh, there's Devin getting a, a little shot of Bumblebee. Um, but, you know, it's a fun thriller kind of ride so I'm glad we were able to ride it we didn't do it yesterday with our uh, VIP experience so it was good to try it that was kind of the theme of the day like hitting some of our favorite rides and then trying to hit rides that we didn't get to do uh, the day before uh, speaking of favorite rides then we next went to ET which is one of our favorite rides ET didn't open until 10 and that was like right about the time we were hitting it. So we were kind of in the first group to ride that ride. Um, E.T. is one of our favorites because it's got that old school feel. We really like the queue. That's what you're kind of looking at right now. It's definitely hard to see. So sorry, it's so dark. 
Uh, but you're kind of in like this foresty area. They've got like some of the props and things like that that are in the E.T. movie. Um, all these really beautiful trees. It's nice and air conditioned <laughs> and shaded in there. Um, and it's just a super cute, immersive cue. Um, and then the ride as well. It's a lot like Peter Pan where you're kind of like floating above the attraction and you're helping E.T. get back to his home planet. So I think it kind of takes place like after the movie. It's been a long time since I've seen E.T. the movie. Um, but you kind of help him escape and then um, help him get back to his home planet. And you like go to his home planet with him. Um, it's it's really cute. And I love the smell in there. It's kind of like the old ride kind of smell that you get, I feel like, in a lot of fantasy land rides. Um, after that, we went to the SpongeBob store uh, because that's just like one of my favorite shops there. Bought some things. Um, Devin was in the little pineapple house there. That's why the lights were all crazy. Uh, next, we headed over to get kind of an early lunch at Krusty Burger, which is in the um, uh, Simpsons kind of themed area. It's a really nice lunch spot. They have like four different kind of restaurant options within it. Um, you actually go inside of Moe's Taverns and there's like the chicken area. I think they do pizzas. They do the burgers. And there's like one other thing that I can't think of. Um, but it's a nice place. And we were there early enough, like right as they were kind of opening. And um, it was a nice, quiet, kind of relaxing lunch. Uh, there's plenty of seating. They also show clips of, um, like, Spongebob episodes, not Spongebob, oh my god, of Simpsons episodes up on the screens. A lot of them are, like, theme park related uh, kind of clips, or they're just, like, really funny clips. You can see that right now on the TV screens. So that's kind of fun, like, atmospheric stuff. And the food is pretty good. We've had it both in Hollywood and in Orlando at this park, um, and it's good. Then we went like right across the way from Cressy Burger to get um, some of our favorite uh, soft serve ice cream. So we did that. Um, and then we went to catch some of the shows. So we weren't able to watch any of the shows yesterday during our VIP experience. We really wanted to catch them today. We like both of the shows that are at like the main shows. I guess there's an, a third show, The Animal Actors, which we've never seen. Uh, but we really like this horror makeup show. Um, that's a lot of fun. And it's cool if you watch it multiple times because the actors sometimes swap out. Um, and it's just kind of cool. It's, it's cute. It's very like they interact with the audience. It's funny. They talk about like the history of horror makeup and things like that because, you know, Universal invented the you know, the monster movies. That was kind of their big start. Uh, then we checked out the shop that you, of course, you exit through the gift shop, even for a show. And I fell in love with the little, like, monster stuffies. As Devin's, like, freaking out with the, the mummy. Um, and I, I wanted every single one of them. But they were so expensive. I think they were, like, 15 bucks each. But I wanted them so bad. Ugh. As we exited the horror show to go to Born Suntacular, we saw some characters. We saw Betty Boop, and then you just saw The Simpsons. Um, and then we were making our way to the Born Suntacular show, which is another one of their shows. Um, it was kind of cool that we got to do both of them back to back like that. They are like right down the street, and if you pick the right show times, um, you can see them back to back, which is kind of cool. I will say Born Stuntacular does have a pretty long like pre-show video that you have to watch and you do have to stand for that part of it. Um, but, you know, I think it's worth it. The show is really cool, like the technology that they use. Um, it's like a screen, but then like the screen moves and um, the, uh, whatchamacallit, I can't remember what I'm trying to say. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it was, uh, it's really cool. Oh, like the, the people like go out on front and it kind of looks like they're interacting with the stage, but there's other props. It's really hard to explain, but it's a pretty darn cool show. 
Uh, after that, we got some snacks. I guess we ate ice cream here, even though we were looking at Lardland Donuts. I don't know what was happening there. Uh, but we got a pretzel because I love pretzels. And there's an Auntie Anne's uh, kind of right near the mummy ride. Uh, we also got to see some of the Blues Brothers playing. Uh, there was like a saxophone player playing on the Blues Brothers stage. If you, um, you know, they have showtime, specific showtimes where you see the police car going and then you see like the Blues Blues Brothers band like playing. Um, after that, we were able to get on the Minion Blast ride for reals. Um, so we did that again, but this time was actually successful. It was cute. Like, you know, if you're a big fan of Minions, it's really adorable. I like the theming of the ride. The ride experience is just okay. It's a lot of screens. There's a lot of like opportunities to shoot things and you're like shooting at the same time as everybody else. So it's kind of difficult to keep track of like your, your individual like shooting icon, but I feel like it was a little overstimulating, but it was cool. I'm glad we got to like actually try the ride. Um, then it was about like 2.30 at this point. So we decided to go back to the hotel, kind of relax um, before we headed back out to City Walk for dinner. So we spent a few hours in the hotel room, kind of cleaned up, relaxed a little bit, got out of the heat because it was very hot at that point of the day. Uh, but then we went back to City Walk for dinner and we went to Vivo Italian, uh, which is a Italian restaurant. You're going to see the um, menu here in a second. And it's a really good Italian restaurant. Um, and it's nice that, you know, there's so many restaurant options on City Walk that you can experience like a bunch of different things. Um, and it's, it's a really cute restaurant. I think we tried this for the first time when we went to Universal Orlando, like back in 2021, they do have the same restaurant on City Walk at Hollywood, um, which I think we've tried before. I can't remember if we've eaten there as well, but, um, it's really good. Great Italian food. They make the pasta by hand and stuff there. Uh, so for appetizers, Devin got a salad. I got the minestrone soup, which was very tasty. We also obviously got the bread for the table. And then um, for main course, we got um, the gnocchi, which was very tasty. I love um, the gnocchi potato pasta. Then for dessert, I got the little like chocolate cake brownie thing. And Devin got um, some like, it was like an inverted chocolate ice cream thing. Um, it was kind of interesting. It was, it was good. Uh, we went back to the hotel and we decided to check out the pool at the resort because believe it or not, last time we were here, we never took the time to go check out the pool. Uh, so we did that this time. It's a nice pool. It's got kind of two big areas. It does have a water slide. It's kind of small and obviously meant for kids. It does also have a weight restriction, just FYI. Um, but it's a nice little pool. It's got two main areas like you can see. In between is like this little sandbar looking thing, um, but it's a nice pool and we enjoyed kind of floating around and chit chatting and talking about our day and kind of relaxing after the really hot day in the theme parks. So uh, that's pretty much it for this video. We hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't done so already. We have... I think two more days in the theme park after this video, and then we are boarding our cruise, Allure of the Seas with Royal Caribbean, so definitely stay tuned for that, and we will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!